Hey people, for those of you that don't know um, or have not read this before, a link was dropped to me in the comment section underneath my last video. Um, I'd not read it before so I came across to check it out. It's called The Secret Covenant. Uh, the author of The Secret Covenant, Covenant is unknown. Questions as to the origin of the Secret Covenant have been debated and it seems most have been dismissed. Uh, most even dismissed it as a work of complete fiction, but to those who have obtained a deep understanding of these things when presented with the facts cannot deny and ignore the validity of this manifesto. They've actually referred to it as a demonic manifesto, but yeah, each their own. The Secret Covenant was leaked out uh, via a bankindex.com on the 21st of June 2002. The piece came in through one of the band index forms with the author leaving or left leaving an unusable email address. I did go and check to see if that website was there and it is. Um, I mean, I'm a little, little skeptical on this in the sense that, I mean, there's a lot of smart people out there. You know what I mean? Um, the, Illumin the Illuminati cards, as you people know, came out uh, somewhere early 1990s. Did somebody look at those cards and write off that? Did they just look at the life that we're living? at the moment and right from that i don't know but for those of you that haven't read it um the secret covenant kind of goes as such an illusion it will be so large so vast it will escape their perception those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time so as to never bring suspicion upon themselves or ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience, for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together always and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so that they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators and sedatives in food and water, also in the air. They will be blanketed in poison everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure for our many fronts, yet we will feed them more poison. The poisons will be added through their skin and mouths. They will destroy their minds and reproductive systems. From all this, their children will be born dead and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surround them, in what they drink, eat, breathe and wear. We must be ingenious in, dispen in dispensing the poisons for they can see far. We will teach them that the poisons are good with fun images and musical tones. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used in film and will grow accustomed to them. And we will never know, and will never know their true effects. When they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them it is for their help. We will start early on. When their minds are young, we will target their children with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill their mind and steal their future. 
When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause other diseases for which we will create yet more medicine. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed, slow, obese. When they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus our attention towards money and material goods so that the many never connect with their inner self. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures and games so that they never they may never be one with oneness of it all. Their minds will belong to us and they will do as we say. If they refuse, we shall find ways to implement mind-altering technology into their lives. We will use fear as our weapon. We will establish their governments and establish opposites within. We will own both sides. We will always hide our objective but carry out our plan. They will perform the labour for us and we shall prosper from their, their toil. Our families will never mix with theirs. Our blood must be pure always for it is the way. We will make them kill each other when it suits us. We will keep them separated from the oneness by dogma and religion. We will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will guide them kindly and let them think they are guiding themselves. We will ferment animosity between them through our factions. When a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule or death, whichever suits us best. We will make them rip each other's hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this by using hate as our ally, anger as our friend. Hate will blind them totally, and never shall they see that from their conflicts we emerge as their rulers. They will be easy. They will be busy killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbours for as long as we see fit. We will benefit greatly from this, for they will not see us, for they cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. We shall repeat this over and over until our ultimate goal is accomplished. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger through images and sounds. We will use all the tools we have to accomplish this. The tools will be provided by their labour. We will make them hate themselves and their neighbours. We will always hide and divine truth, the divine truth from them, uh, that we are all one. This they must never know. They must never know that colour is an illusion. They must always think they are not equal. Drop by drop, drop by drop, we will advance our goal. We will take over their land, resources and wealth to exercise total control over them. We will deceive them into accepting law that will steal the little freedom they will have. We will establish a money system that will imprison them forever, keeping them and their children in debt. When they shall band together, we shall accuse them of crimes and present a different story to the world, for we shall own all the media. We will use our media to control the flow of information and their sentiment in our favour. When they shall rise up against us, we will crush them like insects, for they are less than that. They will be helpless to do anything, for they will have no weapons. We will recruit some of their own to carry out our plans. We will promise them eternal life, but eternal life they will never have, for they are not one of us. The recruits will be called initiates and will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of passage to higher realms. Members of these groups will think they are one with us, never knowing the truth. They must never learn this truth, for they will turn against us. If their work, or for their work, they will be rewarded with earthly things and great titles, but never will they become immortal and join us. Never will they receive the light and travel the stars. Never reach the higher realms, for the killing of their own kind will prevent passage through the realm of enlightenment. This they will never know. The truth will be hidden in their face, so close that they will not be able to focus on it until it's too late. Oh yes, so grand the illusion of freedom will be that they will never know they are our slaves. When all is in place, the reality we will have created for them will own them. This reality will be their prison. They will live in self-delusion. When our goal is accomplished, a new era of domination will begin. 
Their minds will be bound by their beliefs. Their beliefs we have established from time immemorial. immemorial, immemorial. But if they ever find out they are our equal, we shall perish then. This they must never know. If they ever find out that together we can they can vanquish us, they will take action. They must never ever find out what we have done. For if they do, we shall have no place to run. For it will be easy to see who we are once the veil has fallen. Our actions will have revealed who we are and they will hunt us down and no person shall give us shelter. This is the secret covenant by which we shall live the rest of our present and future lives. For this reality will transcend many generations and lifespans. This covenant is sealed by blood, our blood. We the ones who from heaven to earth came. This covenant must never ever be known to exist. It must never ever be written of spo or spoken of for it is, uh, if it is, the consciousness will uh, it will spawn, will release the fury of the prime creator upon us, and we shall be cast to the depths from whence we came and remain there until the end of until the end time of infinity itself. People, you guys know me. I always say to you, I only take what resonates from anything, no matter who says it. If it doesn't resonate to you, leave it. Don't try and, and fit it into into your life or whatever if it does not resonate to you, okay? Because uh, that's the wrong way to wake up. Because we all wake up in our in our own time. I mean, I look at this and like I says, well, the end part of it, it could have been written by a religious person. Um, it could have been taken in in you know from the illuminati cards um i just don't believe that if somebody wants us to know the truth then stop hiding do you know what i mean if it's genuine then there's no need to hide right you're just going to come out and you're going to say it so i'm a little bit weary uh, when I read stuff like this, especially if there's there's no person behind it, and even if there is somebody behind it, you you still need to question. I mean, are we just a, a, a fucking virus in a petri dish, and we're being controlled, and because we're so fucking hateful towards each other or whatever? I mean, shit, look what we're doing to to the the earth, you know, to Mother Nature that was given to us. Um, we're ruining it. We're killing each other. The the hate, and and that's another thing that I've noticed on the net. You know, the hate seems to be growing more and more. I had somebody tell me the other day a story. They'd gone out for tea with family. Before the tea even ended, apparently, uh, um, it almost broke out <laughs> into a fist fight. And what were they discussing? They were discussing events of today. They were discussing COVID. They were discussing uh, the the elections in the United States. And this is people in Australia. Do you know what I mean? And it, it the the tea ended before it was supposed to end because of the the argument. I mean, you can clearly see the hate between people. You know, the non-tolerance, the the non-understanding, the the pettiness of of all the bullshit that goes on, whether it be social media or just simply in people's everyday life. You know, you can see it. Well, I can anyway. I can see it around me. Um, are we going to manage at some point to to come together? Um, I I personally can't see it. But unless we do, unless we realise that we all shit, eat, sleep, breathe, that we all pretty much just want to get on with our lives, that we want peace, um, this is not going to end well for any anybody. It really won't. But anyway, take what you will from this. 
Um, I thought I'd put it out there for those that haven't seen it or read it before. Anyway, catch you on the